Hey everybody, Alex here. Big news today from Apple as they started a new repair program, or rather, expanded it to include third-party repairs on their hardware. They call this the self-service repair. The news post about this is linked down below. Apple today announced self-service repair, which allows customers who are comfortable with completing their own repairs. Uh, okay, let's talk about this for a second here. This means that individual consumers can now repair Apple products they own. Great, right? Well, maybe. Now, first time in 10 years of having iPhones. Last summer, I dropped my iPhone face down. It was flat on pavement and this shattered the screen. It was my dog's fault. I think he saw a squirrel or something. Okay, fine. It was my fault. Anyway, <laughs> I went to the Apple store and they swapped out the phone for me for a refurbished phone of the exact same model. And I was a happy camper. At first, I was a little hesitant because it was a refurbished phone and I don't know if it was in good shape or not, but a working phone is better than a phone that doesn't work. And this was free. Three months and two days later, the two days is important here, my Wi-Fi stopped working altogether, no matter what I did. So I took the phone in to complain. Uh, why is this brand new or almost new phone? It's only three months old and it's already not working. According to the manager of the store, there was nothing they could do as their cutoff for repair request was three months exactly. And since my initial inquiry was a repair, I didn't have much of a choice. I could buy a brand new phone or have them fix this phone for 550 bucks. This was an iPhone 10 at the time and this was already a few years old. So a brand new iPhone 10 was maybe 800 bucks. And I'd have to wait for about a week or so for the iPhone to get fixed. If I had a choice to take it to another shop and get it fixed for let's say 120 bucks or so, I might have done that. So this is what all the hoopla has been about lately the right to repair. But now with Apple's new self-service program, I'll be able to purchase genuine Apple parts myself and read the manuals myself and fix it myself. It might take me a few weeks, but hey, I'll be able to do it. Yay. Let's get real folks. Unless your hobby is actually taking and putting back together phones and laptops, is this something that's going to really help you? In light of the recent growing backlash about Apple's hard line against self-repair, is this another preemptive move by Apple to maintain as much control as possible of their hardware and potentially open up another revenue stream? Well, maybe, maybe not. However, many think this is still a good move on Apple regardless since it's going to align better with their goals of helping the environment. After all, repairs means less waste. I think there might be a little bit of a double-edged sword here in the future for quality of Apple products. I mean, right now we equate Apple with quality. What's gonna happen if people can just repair their own stuff or third-party shops can repair their own stuff? Are they gonna be able to do a good job? Right now, if I sell my used MacBook Pro, you can be sure that I never tinkered with it, nor did anybody else. So whatever state it's in, that's the state that it was in when I bought it brand new from Apple. But if this thing's gonna happen, who knows? It might have been fixed by somebody that likes to tinker, and maybe there's a few screws missing. There's another part to it also. If the same company that sells you a thing, and it's the same company that sells you the other thing to fix the first thing, Seems to me like they might want to sell you the first thing that'll eventually break so that you can still buy the second thing. Kind of like a reluctant add-on a year later. Now, of course, that would have to be a company with pretty low morals, right? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Is this a good move by Apple? They're kind of being pinned into a corner. Still, they can still hold their own and fight. And maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a preemptive strike. Because really, who's going to fix their own laptops anyway? Very few people. Anyway, just a little break from the usual test today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you soon.